Praise the Lord and happy Blessed Friday, Faith Fellowship family and friends. We love you. We thank God for you and we're praying for you all daily in the name of Jesus. And again, happy Blessed New Year's in the name of the Lord. And today I wanted to talk about humility. And I wanted to read a verse of scripture found in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 6 to 8. Amen. So in James, chapter 4, 6 to 8, it says, But he give it more grace. Wherefore, he saith, God resists the proud, but give it grace unto the humble. Verse 7 says, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Verse 8, Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. And I thank God for humility because God is a God who is all-sovereign and all-powerful. But when he says God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble, we must always remember that we have to have an attitude of gratitude and also of that humility not to think of ourselves more highly than we ought to and especially with dealing with others there's so much going on in the world today uh, so much calamity racial division and just so much chaos but god wants to bring order he wants to bring peace in his presence on that situation so that there will be healing healing coming in the name of Jesus. So I thank God for the spirit of humility. Humbleness is a blessed, blessed thing before the eyes of God. And I also wanted to go to, I thank God we have to study our Bibles. I love my Bible. The word of God is beautiful forever, O Lord. Your word is settled in heaven. But I wanted to go also to Matthew 5, 5. This is very powerful. And Matthew 5, 5 says this. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. One thing we must know, when you're meek and you're kind and humble, it's not weakness. Meekness is not weakness. Meekness is actually power under control. When you're in a situation where you feel your back's against the wall, certain people want to debate you and, and just press those buttons and... Um, See how you react. The best reaction is to always remain peaceful, humble, and kind. And also in situations in life, and we go through it, things aren't always going to be sunshine and rainbows. We're going to go through hard times. But what I've come to find out is trust the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he should direct your path. When we're trusting God and we're walking in a spirit of humility and meekness and kindness, I truly believe that will change the atmosphere. You can go into an atmosphere, and I've noticed this in times past, you go into an atmosphere where it's chaotic, people are a little bit on edge and angry but when you go in there humble and you're smiling and you're being kind and being meek and you're being just that warm loving person that you are it really does change an atmosphere and people will start to see wow i want to be like that i don't want to be angry there's so much going on right now and we as the body of christ and the people of god we really need to show the world the true love of Jesus, who Jesus really is. And he is almighty, he's all sovereign, and he's all powerful. But as his children and as his representatives, it says in the Bible, how will they know that you are my disciples indeed is by how you love one another. And I think in a time right now in the midst of pandemic and so much tension in this political arena, uh, anxiety is on the rise, worry, doubt, fear. Um, we get the calls all the time. A majority of the phone calls and prayer calls are coming in as people are dealing with high anxiety and fear and worry. But how I would say to counteract that is just keep a humble, peaceful attitude and also an attitude of gratitude. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, I'm alive. Thank you, Jesus, for the breath of life. Thank you, Jesus, 
for your word and staying in the word of God. The word of God will strengthen you. It will show you the things that God has for you. And it will also help you shape your character and shape things in your life that maybe you don't realize is going on, but the Holy Spirit wants to partner with you and make you be the best that you can be so that you can go out there and represent him well. And I also want to share, and this really touched me, and this is also in the book of Matthew 23, and that is 11 to 12. And it says here, But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And verse 12 says, And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. In God's economy, God doesn't deal with the proud. As a matter of fact, he says, I will put the proud down and I will lift up those who are humble. He will resist the proud but give grace to the humble. There's something about a humble peaceful, meek attitude that attracts the presence and the power of God. And God has given us such authority. He's given us so much power through the anointing and that we have a special guest that resides in us, the Holy Spirit, that all we need to do is ask the Holy Spirit. That's his job. He's the comforter. He was sent to aid and guide and lead us and to help us. And in times when you feel that what's happening, Lord, what's going on right now, God is going to help you through the power of the Holy Spirit. He will lead and guide you in the right things to do, the right ways to act and the right way to deal with situations. But I would just say, and for myself, I always identify myself. And when people ask, Melinda, what is your title? What is your role? I'm a servant. I'm a servant of the Most High God. Because that's what we're here for. Jesus, when he came down and shed his majesty and throne and his glory, our Lord took the form of a servant. He took on a role of humility. He made himself of not this puffed up and I'm Jesus and everything is mine and, and was on a power trip. When you watch Jesus through the scriptures, you see a man that walked in love, kindness. And I always describe Jesus to me as steel and velvet. He was yet so very strong, but yet he was so very gentle. And that was such a beautiful balance. And I say right now, my brothers, my sisters, my family, let's always keep that attitude of walking in humility and understanding to know, let's keep that spirit of kindness because people are hurting out there. And as the church, what they're looking for is love. And love is the theme of the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe it on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And I'm so thankful for Jesus. We want to be like Christ. We want to model his character in his ways. And he was getting it done. And that's why the crowds were so attracted to him and, and wanted to be around him because what came out of him was such love and humility. And God is so great. So as we step into 2021 and this new year, let's always remember, let's remain humble, kind, and meek because it's not weakness. It truly is power under control. And God has a great plan for your life and mine. And in this year, 2021, I speak over you. Your very best is yet to come. And in Jesus' name, He is the greatest of all, and He loves you, He loves me. And let's remember, let's walk in humility, meekness, meekness and love, and always be kind to those we come in contact with, and be loving. And that is how they will know we are His true disciples. In Jesus' name.